Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to a new series that I'm starting, Unturned 3.11131 Survival. Now, I'm just calling it Reborn Survival because it's shorter, but this is a game I've wanted to play for you guys for a long, 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 long time, and if you remember, back at kind of the start of my channel, I tried to play it, and um, it didn't work out so well. I didn't have enough time to really get into anything, and I also was no good at games, so... Now we're coming back to it. It's now Linux compatible, and uh, this is the uh, this is the beta, the preview branch. So it might be a little buggy, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and start ourselves a single player survival game here, and uh, we're just gonna jump right into it. I think it's gonna be good to have kind of a kind of a series that's not a random, a series that's not a roguelike going on this channel at the moment. Do something that I wonder if it kept my stuff. No, it didn't. That's good. Uh, my pants look weird. My pants look weird. <laughs> I'm just going to be the first one to say it. I've spawned in the middle of a road. I wonder if it gives us a map by default. Looks like I'm right here, so Alberton is... Which way? I need to move a little bit and figure out if I'm... Okay, that's away from Alberton. I want to... Oh, it's right there. Through the smog. That's great. It's literally right there. So, one thing I'm curious about is every time I've played, it's been like this. This has been the time of day. And I wonder if it's carrying over time of day per map, or if it like, if you start a map, it'll stay that time of day in every map from then on out. Like, I don't know. This game is updated a lot since I played it. I kind of want to figure out what that thing over there is, that like frame looking thing. We'll go get over there in a second. I want to play this carefully. Um, I figured out the gesture button so I could, you know, wave. If I so wanted, I could wave to the zombies and let them know I'm here. It's probably something I want to do. Um, nothing in the box here. One thing I found is apparently the buildings are empty, which I think is counterintuitive, you would think. You find a building, that's where all of your stuff would be. Apparently that is not the case. So that's something that I hope either I figure out what I'm doing wrong or 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 we figure out where we actually can find loot because of course loot is a huge thing in survival games and zombie games both so we need to be able to find some stuff so we're gonna take oh, we got shades oh cool and hockey stick green parka, a blue tee, yes, oh, oh, is this a vest, sweet, okay, we're gonna go ahead and see what there is to do here, hands, wax out of a green parka, wait, can I wear this, okay, freaking beautiful, can I, where'd the shades go, where'd the shades go, Wait, can we craft? That's an interesting crafting system. Also, where did my shades go? Where'd the shades go? I had sweet shades. Whoa, the colors are all buggy. I think it's trying to do like a lighting effect. And, oh, it's not working at all. I wonder if I can turn that off, in fact. Graphics. Can I turn off the... Lighting quality. Can I turn it off? There we go. That, that's interesting. Draw distance. I can turn uh, fog off. Might Might help. There we go. Look at that. That's running like a champ. I'm still wondering where did the where'd it go? Like I had a whoa! Oh my gosh, dude! So pro. Oh, it's keeping my my gold member stuff. Yeah, I don't want that because it was cool to start, but let's let's get real here. 
We don't need to keep the gold stuff. Just because I am a gold member doesn't mean I need to ruin the survival by being a gold member right now. I did get some sweet shades though. Golf club. Oh, dude, I love golf clubs. Let's see, rope, and I know rope and something else makes fertilizer. Got some tape. Got a carrot. Wish you could open these. I like that this bread isn't moldy. Wait, is it automatically equipping whatever you're just looking at at the moment? Can I equip that one instead? The red sweater vest? Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, and it's... We're using our clothing as holders for stuff. That's cool, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, craft one of one more of these. I'll take the uh the purple shirts and the extra vest. And now I think we're living high life. So, it looks like we do have a rotten potato and it is in fact telling us that. Do I have to press 1 for the golf club and then 2 for the hockey stick? That's cool. This interface is going to take a little bit of getting used to. But I think once we figure it out, I think I feel like it's a better interface than I'm giving it credit right now. So I need to be whoa, whoa. Okay, it looks like we got our first zombie. Ow. Buzz off. Plus three. that's okay, that's a little bit of an odd combat system. Like it seems there's not even like blood when you hit them. It's just a little red X, but who am I to judge? And then they just vanish. Huh. Hey, friend. I'm almost not scared of these zombies. They seem to just die very easily. It's five hits with a golf club. And it doesn't seem like the golf club's going down in durability at all either, so... There's not really a whole lot to worry about, I guess. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just having a good start. Good starts. Good starts are great. I love good starts. <gasps> pants! We have pants. Oh, sweet. I love pants. I'm a really big fan of pants. Oh, cool. Yes, now I feel like a normal human being again. See how much better or worse the hockey stick is. Oh, the hockey stick kicks ass. It's great. I love this. How do I turn off the stupid lighting effect? Nails. That zombie's getting all primal on us. Look at him. Whoa. Stop being a crawler. Stop. Okay, well... It's time to, you know, craft some medicinal supplies. Craft a rag. No, craft two rags. Rags into bandages. That's a confusing, that is kind of a confusing setup. Here we go. Get ourselves patched up a little bit. Get out our club and get ready to rumble. Pick up some wire. Nice. I know if you get a couple bundles of wire, you can end up making yourself barbed wire. But again, I am learning, so keep that in mind as we go through our adventure. Our sweet, sweet adventure that we're going to have here. It's going to be good. You guys are going to be impressed. Like We're going to learn together. It's going to be fun. We're going to have some good times. Oh, you can stop them. Oh, that's cool. By hitting them on the head. Nice. I actually really like that because in real life, I'm sure if you bopped a crawler on the head, pretty sure you'd stop. Let's go ahead and figure out what we can do here. Sneak attack. Ugh. I wish that the this guy would swing it sideways maybe instead. Because in real life, I would be swinging the golf club sideways, not straight up and down. Probably. Then again, I'm not entirely sure. 
binoculars, and a Colt magazine. That'll be good if we ever find a pistol. Please tell me we can find a pistol. Ooh, a generator and more pants. Generator. Okay. I don't seem to have a carry weight. Which is, you know, good, I guess. I'm going to take a minute here and craft some rags. And then craft more rags into, oh wait, take one more rag to take one more of those to make a dressing. And I'm going to hold that. If we look, now I have a dressing, I have some binoculars, I have some candy, which I think I'm going to eat. Just because it's candy. Like, apparently my red sweater vest is holding all of this stuff, and then my t-shirt is holding the rest of this. Can I move the cloth into, oh, nice. Okay, that's, that's neat. Warm weather tea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just craft it into more, more cloth. We're gonna whip out our club once again. We got a hammer, I feel like that's good for crafting. Whoa, whoa, hey friend. You made a really loud noise all of a sudden. You went from not caring about me at all to being very loud. Not a fan of you. Not a fan of you and your sass. Come here. Oh my god, you're fast. This is great how they like stop when you hit them. Makes this whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, calm down. Look at this. You can just stand here and beat them. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, that was that was my bad. Okay, come on, put the hat on. And this is why we made your wait. Can we just make a rag really quick? Just because I don't want to use all of my I don't want to use all of my everything's. Yeah, let's go ahead and patch up just a little bit. And because right now I don't think we're doing too awful. I mean, we probably should be you know crouched and trying to avoid detection. But outside of that, can I sneak attack you? Is there a bonus for sneak attacks? Whoa. Or, nope, nope. The bonus for sneak attacks is you die. Okay. That was great. I love that. That was amazing. Yeah. Oh, and we're back with our freaking gear. Nice. It's great. But yeah, we're doing survival, so I'm taking off the clothes. It's not fair that ooh, I do like that you spawn with a map though. It does make it quite a bit easier to kind of get your bearings at the start, and because I don't think you were necessarily losing anything by not having by not having your uh, by not having a map of any kind. Because like who knows? Maybe you're familiar with the area. Maybe you have a mental map. I do like that they've made weapons a little bit more nerfed so it's not as easy to just kill everything. I think that makes it a little bit more survival-y and a lot, like it makes stealth a little bit more of a forced element here, which I think can be nice, depending on your playstyle. Like I know I was a very kind of hyper-aggressive, let's just go in there and kill them sort of a guy, and uh, so it's, it took me a little, it took me, like you saw, I died. Because I was used to the more, just kind of beat them up with a club sort of deal. And now they got rid of that, which I don't think is inherently bad. I think it's interesting. I like it. I dig it. Apparently I'm just crawling in naked into the airport. Just don't mind me, I'm just a naked guy in the airport. Just, just working my way to the airport. Don't, don't look at me. I'm being naked over here. I'm being naked, naked ninja, naked ninja, glue, probably for crafting, but I'm not far enough to have the slightest idea what that does, a rake, <gasps> I can beat him up with a garden rake, oh my good golly gosh, hog range optics, whoa, zoom way in on your face. 
but no, I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to. Why is it two? Is it a two-handed weapon? Is that what's happening? Whoa! Hi, friend. Suck rake. Ugh. Wow, rake's actually very strong. Whoa! Crap! I got a crawler. Huh. Die! Suck rake. Suck rake. Here we go. Come on. Keep sucking rake. Whoa! I got a grip. Got a gun grip. So if I ever... oh no, it's a flashlight. Whoa! That's awesome. I like that it. I kind of like, kind of don't. That it takes up an inventory slot. Like I mean, like a like a weapon slot. Because I feel like, you know, in real life, it may or may not actually. You'd probably like tape it to your gun. Maybe if you have tape, maybe you can tape it to your gun. That would be cool. I'd really like that. I know that they just had an update where you can make your own weapons, like by putting stuff together. You can like kind of smash together your own homemade weapons. Is that hanger empty? Is there just a single zombie in it? Come on, there's got to be some sort of loot. Like some cloth. That's it? That's all. That's all that there is here. Come on, die. Yeah. I wonder if you do more damage when you're standing. Like if it's like a power stance sort of deal. Because that'd be cool. I, I would really dig that, honestly. If they put in like power stances and stuff. Kind of into the mechanic of fighting. Like you have, like since I'm a defensive guy, maybe I have more health or something. Or I make better use of like defensive items and then a support would heal better something like that can I use that can I use the plane is it just decorative man I wish that plane wasn't decorative that would have been awesome to start the game with a plane even if it was out of fuel I could have worked with that hey friend you caught me from a ways away come on Oh, you, you're, you're dropping generators. I need to get a shirt, apparently, so I can carry a generator. Because that, that makes sense, right? A can. I need a water bottle. I know a can and a water bottle makes a canteen. And canteens are infinite water, so obviously you kind of want one. If you can get your hands on one. Whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm. No! Stop galloping. Stop your galloping. Come here. You, come here. Ugh. Dude, it's a rake of justice. Ugh. The world's strongest rake. The world's strongest gardener. Scrap metal. Uh, I know you can make like traps and crap with that, so if you're wondering why I'm grabbing that, it's for traps and junk. I wonder if it's possible to just get myself over to the uh, to the terminal where there's probably like a, a decent weapon or something. If it's anything like the original update, there might be like a decent weapon or something over there. Maybe I can make my way over. Whoa, hey, whoa, stop. Holy crap. He came out of nowhere. Just don't don't turn around, friend. Don't turn around. Whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, stop. I can't even hit you. Oh my god. That was a nightmare. Oh, I suddenly just couldn't hit him. Hit him. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh crap, I really need to probably bandage myself up. Why, I need to find a shirt or like a town or pants. It's something. I need to just be able to take off something. I need pick, but I already have binoculars. Thank you very much, game. I can see why they might be up here though. Colt mag, so maybe there's a weapon. 
maybe. If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, there'll be a weapon up here. Flashlight and a hockey stick. I already have a rake though. Oh, baseball bat. Uh, does that do more damage than a rake? Wait, can I just, oh, can I drop the rake and, yeah, and then pick up a baseball bat instead? Sweet. I just, I just have a feeling, you know, that, that the baseball bat's probably stronger than, I need to get some sort of a storage something, if I can craft some sort of a makeshift rucksack or something. Tape. Anything. Wait, wait, what is that? If I go grab my binoculars. Is that, nope, I can't. It's not rendering far enough, I don't think. Okay, well, looks like we're maybe boned already. Maybe. We don't know yet. We're going to go ahead and try to get out of here. We have a bat now. I thought you could do like a, yeah, like a critical strike sort of thing. Golf club, flashlight, baseball bat. Binoculars. I wonder if we can kill this guy and maybe get his hat. Or his shirt. Whoa. Okay, he didn't drop anything. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and run out. Ooh. Pants. Digging the pants. Can I. No, can I craft them? I just want to craft the pants. Craft. I want to craft pants. No blueprints available in this. Okay, so I need to drop enough stuff for pants. So if I drop the can, if I drop the wire. I got the metal. I'm just gonna clear a decent amount of space. I don't know how much space these take up. Drop, drop. Okay, so now, if I drop my pants, can I craft them into bandages of any sort? Then equip that rag and heal myself slightly. Uh, I don't know if we, I'm going to take the nails, I'm going to take the binoculars, and, um, I think I'm going to take the rope, and wire. I'm not going to take the scrap metal just yet, because I know if you take two wire, you can make barbed wire. There we go. That's cool. It's cool. Dig in the barbed wire. So anyway, this is going to be where we end episode one. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.